How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be trying to finish up TNT Tech here. I'm guessing there's probably only going to be to this Tuesday and Thursday left um, but in this video we are going to be fixing our game manager because um, I've done some work to it and we're just going to update it um, for what we need so the first thing we're gonna do is in our game setup um, we're gonna check the config to see if it contains a game spawn um, and also all the code will be available to you guys on github so if you guys get lost or lose your way or whatever it may be you can go ahead on there and check it out and you should be able to find the code uh, nice and easy um, but first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go. We're gonna. Ooh, I got caps lock on. We're gonna say if plugin dot get config dot contains, and we're gonna say if it contains game spawn. Uh, actually, game spawn like that because that's how it is there. So if it contains game spawn, we're going to do that. And we actually want this to be floats. These ones right here, the um, are not that. We want the yaw and pitch to be uh, floats. So we're just gonna copy, paste, paste. We're gonna just separate these all like this, just just so it's more appealing to the eye. Um, dot get float all right we can't do dot get float so we can do dot get double we got a instance float over it there we go and this will be pitch and yaw or yaw then pitch not not the other way around yaw then pitch all right all right, now that we got that, we're just going to simply uh, do plugin. Sorry if you can hear trucks going by. I have my window open because it is about a thousand degrees. Uh, so we're going to do plugin dot git server dot git console sender. I'll actually, I'll close my window. Okay, dot git console sender dot send message, and we want uh, check color dot green, and we will say game spawn located all right so we got the game spawn located and now we're going to pretty much just copy this all down here um, and then we're just going to change all of this to basically lobby so um, actually we can just go ahead and say anywhere that says game change to lobby there we go and this is a lowercase l lobby spawn all right so now that we got that uh, so we basically just did this that way um, cause if the config is empty, um, before how we had it is it would get an error because there's nothing, uh, for it to load, right? It's looking for values that aren't actually there. Um, so that's why we have to check to see if it is in there. And if not, it'll just continue on to the rest of the code. All right. So now that we have that done, we have to go ahead and let me see what I got next here. I have it all written down here. All right, and also in the setup game here, um, I actually have the a player check. Um, I actually put the player check uh, inside of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say in our game setup, so for player online, and this is going to be bucket the. Oops, bucket dot get online players dot size. And we're just going to do that. So for players that get bucket dot get online players. Oop, not dot size. I don't know why I have dot size there. For bucket dot get online players. 
we're going to go ahead and say plugin dot players in game dot add online and now we're setting this up for some if for any reason um the game the server is restarted with all the players on it or for whatever reason you need to just reload something you'll be able to, all the players online uh will be able to just quickly um just get added back to the game um so we're adding them to our hash map for the player manager hash map and then we are going to uh say uh new player manager and it's going to be online dot get unique id false zero false false and we'll import player manager there okay oh no good thing there's control z and then the next thing we have to do is let's go ahead and do lobby weights and we're just going to do online oops online and then we gotta go ahead and we just want to set up um, a few things here um, if for any reason for whatever reason um, their food level and health have changed we would just go ahead and um, set health 20 and then we will set their scoreboard I know a lot going on here so player scoreboard dot score lobby and it will be for online all right so basically this is just so if the server reloads while players while the players are still on the server uh, they will go ahead and be added back as if they had just joined the server which is pretty much what we want um, and now we have the lobby weight which uh, changed um, just a little bit um, we're actually gonna add the message here so we're just going to say uh, check color dot um, hmm, what do I want to use we'll just use e uh, yellow plus there are currently oh maybe we'll be lazy I think I'm gonna be lazy I'm just gonna use these uh, and seven and F there are currently plus online plus cheat mode I mean it's not really cheating um, people use these all the time I just don't think you should um, just because you could possibly run into some issues um, but for the most part they work pretty well and we got players online so we actually need a space right here so players needed is not oh play oh players needed that will probably help there we go and so now it's gonna and we're also gonna change this to a personalized message because we don't really need to um, have that message go out to every single person every time uh, that this happens because that will get pretty annoying and all right so I think everything looks good there and now we're going to go on to our game start um, so this is going to be run uh, once the game has enough people for it to start so what we're going to do is we're going to just move this up to here so we're gonna move the explosion countdown up to there we're gonna delete that Oops. Then we're going to go ahead and add uh, plugin dot game mechanics dot tnt. Oh, we don't have it made yet. Oh no! I swear we did. All right. Well, for now we'll just go ahead. Wait. Yeah, we do, don't we? Tnt. Huh. All right. I guess we will just go ahead. Have to go ahead and make this. So that is tnt placer. So we will create this method. I could have swore we had that made. I guess not. So we have a lot left to do in there. Um, all right. So then we'll do a TNT placer, and then we'll say for um, player player bucket to get online players, we want to set their walk speed, and we will set it to 0.5. Um, just so you know, it goes from I believe zero to one. So you just have to think about that. I have two or 
point two being default, I'm pretty sure. And then we want to go ahead and play player.set and vulnerability to true. Um, actually, we don't need to do that because we're going to do um, we're going to cancel the damage, so we don't have to set that. Um, then we're going to teleport the game spawn. We already set the walk speed down here, uh, which is incorrect. All right, and then we want to go ahead and get their inventory. So we're going to just go say player .get inventory dot clear. And then we are all set. All right. And now we have our GameStop method here, uh, which pretty much just clears the player. Um, it's also going to implement Bungie, as you can see there. Um, but we have not done that yet. So we will just go ahead and say, not player scoreboard. Player dot. Oh, we need to call for the player. Player dot set. Walk speed, we will set it back to 0.2f, which is default. Then we will go ahead and player dot get scoreboard dot clear slot display slot dot sidebar because um, you can't set it to null. And then we'll go ahead and say player dot set. Well, we don't need to do that. I was going to say set health, but we don't need to do that. Then we're going to go player dot get inventory dot set helmet. To null because we're just going to set it to nothing, and then we will just go ahead and say player dot get inventory dot clear, which might clear their armor. I'm not totally sure, so if it does, you can just go ahead and get rid of the player dot uh, set helmet to null. Player dot set game mode, uh, game mode adventure, and we actually want this one uh, inside of our game mechanics here. And inside the on join here, we are we want this to, to just set that there. So we would just go ahead and say event dot get player. We want their game mode to be set to to, to adventure mode. Adventure mode is just so um, they can't change anything or they can't break anything. Uh, and then we want to go ahead and set players in game to clear, and then play or plugin dot player manager that's clear. Um, that'll clear uh, for everything. Um, so when the entire game stops, this code will be run. And then we want to go ahead and say player dot set player list name. And we want chat color dot white plus player dot get name. Um, and the reason we have this is because um, when a player is given TNT or when the player is tagged with TNT, their name will change in the player list, in the tab list, uh, from white to red, and then we just want to make sure we set everything back to white. Because um, if we don't do that, everyone's going to look like they're it, and we do not want that. Um, so what we can actually do is we can get rid of this, uh, or no, we will keep the player check, but we will change it up just a little bit. So we're going to say if online is greater than or equal to, um, we're going to start lobby countdown. Um, but we're also going to say if is started equal to false because we just want to make sure the game has not started already. And then we are going to change this to a boolean and it is going to, uh, oops, we want this else statement here and this is going to be else return false and then this is going to be return true. If I can type. There we go. And now the big one here, uh, which is going to be this explosion countdown. What are we what are we doing on time here? Thirteen. All right. We'll just do this explosion countdown. And yeah, actually, you know what? We will save the explosion countdown for next episode. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. Um, it's been really fun doing this TNT tag, um, and I can't wait to do some more code for you guys. So, tune in next time.